We're going to pick up in Mark chapter 2. I would actually bump it back to the very end of Mark chapter 1 where Jesus heals a leper. And there's something I want you to see and write into your notes. And it's a word that I think is a word for the body of Christ this year is to downshift. And even though you see that Mark is, is very fast paced and he's hopping from one story to the other, I appreciate it because he, do, he doesn't take time. He doesn't beat around the bush. You know exactly. He's a bottom line talker. You know exactly what he's trying to get to. Even though he does this, you can see that when it came to hurting people and it came to lost people, Jesus would downshift. He would put it in another gear. So when I was growing up, and some of you that are older than me, we all learned how to drive on a manual transmission. We put it in first, push the clutch, we'd pop the clutch, go to second, push in the clutch. But when we wanted to round a corner that was sharp, man, I would have to put it back in third gear, slow down and round the corner. You're gonna see this with people who are hurting on the inside or they are lost and they just need more time because you can't really hide your plane over deep, deep needs and you see Jesus taking time. So we're gonna see this in chapter two. He's just healed the leper. And then it just talks a, a, a few things. Jesus is going to forgive and heal a, a paralyzed man. His friends tear, tear a hole in the roof to get him to Jesus. You see him taking time to heal him, forgive him. He took the time to even tick off some religious leaders. But now you're going to watch him take time to eat with people that need to get to know him. Once again, this is verse 13, Jesus went out beside the lake. A large crowd came to him and he began to teach them. As he walked along, he saw Levi, son of Alphaeus, sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, Jesus told him, and Levi got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Levi's house, many tax collectors and sinners were eating with him and his disciples, for there were many who followed him. When the teachers of the law, who were Pharisees, saw him eating with sinners and tax collectors, they asked his disciples, Why does he eat with tax collectors and sinners? On hearing this, Jesus said to them, It's not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. I just love this, imagining this story in my mind. I'm not come to call the righteous, uh, but sinners. Jesus had an ability to be around sinners share meals with them, share his heart with them without compromising his holiness. And this is a key to you as a Christ follower. We don't need to be shielded from the world. You're gonna be in the world, but not of the world. And Jesus gave us this template that we can be around unbelievers. We can be around people who have darkness all over them but we don't have to compromise our own holiness. As a matter of fact, his holiness began to rub off on them. It's kind of like a saltwater fish. A saltwater fish is swimming in salt water, but if you catch it and eat it, that salt might be around it, but the salt didn't get inside of it. Because you would think in your mind, well, it swims in salt water, it's got to taste salty. No, it tastes fresh. Do you know that you can be <laughs> fresh in a world full of salt? You can be holy around people who are nothing uh, like God and they are unholy. Jesus had this ability to do it. So I want, I want to ask you some question. Who do you think are the lepers or the tax collectors in today's society? Who are they to us? Because every culture and every generation has some group of people that they demonize more than others. You know, for us, it could be people that are, that are in sexual sin, people that have made whatever mistake that is, but you need in your personal life to challenge this inside of you because you're either gonna be the sinner in the story, the religious person in the story, or you're gonna have the heart of Jesus in this story and say, you know what? I'm going to eat with the people who are nothing like me so that I can introduce them to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I want to be more like Jesus in the story and less like the religious Pharisees in the story. And I know you do too. You guys go have a great day. God bless.